Actors Guild Awards, a night where actors honor their fellow actors. Scheduled to appear, Jason Alexander, Anne Margaret, Halle Berry, George Burns, Margaret Cho. Hi there. There's Mr. Burns right there. The Guild has been giving a Life Achievement Award for 32 years, and I cannot think of a better person to receive the first televised Life Achievement Award than Mr. George Burns. First of all, He's had the longest life, nearly 100 years of it. That's right, yes. 99 years young. I met him when he was uh, 64. Ah, I met him a long time ago, literally a lifetime ago, at the start of my own career. He gave me my first big break in Las Vegas. And having lost his partner and the love of his life, the beautiful and greatly talented Miss Gracie Allen. <laughs> he decided to embark upon a career as a single rather than retire. And it worked. Indeed it worked. He became big box office, received an Academy Award, and fulfilling the dream of every actor and politician, he got to play God. Not once, but three times. <laughs> and he has never stopped helping other performers or giving of himself to countless charities. And he's never stopped acting, still honing that timing that he developed back before the First World War when he was the lucky act that got to follow the legendary Fink's Mules. You know, this sauna kind of brings back a lot of memories. You're too smart for one girl. I'm more than one. You're more than one? Yeah, my mother had the picture of me when I was two. <laughs> for once, they're doing the life of a man who could really play himself. <laughs> On there. What did you expect? A gray sport jacket? All right. This is a stick up. You've got to be kidding. That's better. I know one thing I'm not going to retire. Should I speak louder? Not unless you can't hear what you're saying. I don't know whether you noticed it or not, but I look so much younger than I am that they'll never believe I'm old enough to collect my Social Security. And by the time I do look as old as I really am, I won't be able to walk down there and get it. To be a flower child, though, you have to believe in making love and not war. I go them one better. Yeah? I don't do either one. I heard your blood didn't circulate. Not true. My blood circulates. I'm not saying everywhere, but it circulates. And usually at these dinners, if you're the guest of honor, you get up and talk about the secret of your success. You're God. Not what you expected, huh? Good night. Lucky to have such good friends. Thank you.
Hall. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First of and all, I want to say something. It's what? First of all, I want to say something. I want to give you an award, okay? Oh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it is now my supreme pleasure to give this year's Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award to an American legend, my dear loving friend, Mr. George Burns. Okay, uh, I think I better sit down. Thank you, sir. I'm going to sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much. But now I'm going to do something that's not easy to do. I'm going to sit down. Okay. <laughs> The casts of Frasier, Seinfeld, ER, and Picket Fences, they're all here as the Screen Actors Guild Awards continues.